yeah. Push it. Uh-huh, it's about to go down. 50 some degree, I think it's about 59 degrees out here in the smack middle of January. I'm fixing to go back. liner socks. Like a base layer. We'll put them over these guys. Like pantyhose. Like pantyhose to me. We won't tell nobody. You guys don't tell nobody. They're really not. They're just... I think it's a polyester base material. Then took it on these roof racks for like six hours one way and on top of the van and just you know I just didn't feel real comfortable with it. They did adjust it a little bit, moved a little bit, but and I am strapped down too, but 60 mile an hour down, 60, 65 down the highway. I don't know, maybe that wasn't a smart idea. Time to get skinny. Time to do the shimmy. Shimmy it. Here we go. There we go. Probably in the frame. Time to get her warmed up. Sun was peeking out a little bit. Close the garage up. Hide that. Nobody will know it's in here. Ever. These are dirty. I really don't have anything to clean. Oh well. Good enough. Good enough. We are heading out to Pogue again at 50 some degrees outside January 17th. Now I suspect, I fully suspect that I have forgotten something. Here's where we're gonna put in. Water is up. That's okay. This means we got less chances of getting stuck on things, which I haven't out here. I've been out here twice before. Maybe you have to get stuck on things. So. I'm gonna park over here because I can carry my kayak closer to it. I always like to park point now. Let's get this bad boy loaded up, man. I'm 
I've been out here two times before this is the third trip and uh, this is a solo trip today things didn't work out for the wife to come that's okay and uh, beautiful day out 57 degrees again which lends itself to a beautiful day now it do look a little bit Rain behind me. Might be able to see on the camera. But... I'm gonna go check some stuff out. It takes a minute just to kind of get acclimated a little bit. But... I don't know this part. Twist left and twist right. So. That's some neat little coves to it. Again, these are some strip mines, so they're. This out. I gotta turn you guys around. I mean, I'm Oh, son. Look at the glasses. I'm sure it's not a snake, like a big, massive one. And hope, I probably shouldn't show this part to my wife. I'll just skip. I'll just fast forward through this one. Before I take a peek inside the roots of this tree, and I, I hope you can see it. But butter. Over there at the coil. Like, turn around here. On the roots of this tree. I don't know if you guys can see that yet. Probably right about there from a distance. I look like some big dude. I think it's just. Not too deep. I think it's just roots. I think it's just a root. Oh, turnage. I did forget something. Now I suspect, I fully suspect that I have forgotten something. My uh, fire starting kit, emergency kit, emergency fire starting kit. So, all things you can forget. Why would you forget that, right? All the things you can forget, why would it be that? So I picked up kayaking because a buddy took me out here to this spot right here. He had some, some, uh, couple perception kayaks here. Just kind of looked like, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe some base models or something. They didn't have any, I think they were like nine footers, nine foot six if I, when I measured them. But, uh, anyways, I had never been in a kayak before and kind of had an opportunity. To, he had two of them. I said, hey, you want to go out and kayak? And I was like, well, yeah. I mean, I've never got an opportunity to. And so, come out here with those couple kayaks and put in. And I was like, man, this is awesome. So after he and I, and we was out in this very spot right here. After he and I uh, kayaked for a while, I said, hey, man, do you think uh, I could borrow these kayaks? Floating acorn. I said, hey, you think I can borrow these kayaks? He's like, sure. I said, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my wife out here and I'm gonna kind of see what this is about. 
So I did. Took the kayaks home. <laughs> said, hey, honey, let's go check this out. And uh, of course, I didn't get to go with her at first. Ended up being my eldest daughter. She come out with me. Pretty good time. And so. Now, last time I come out, I mean, this place was just. Oh, I think he's going to go left. I already went right. It's like some pipes coming in here. It's like some pipage in the water. Two big old pipes. Someone must, must pull water from this. Oh, this is stacked. This is left. I didn't go up left, but it ends right there. There. I mean, it's just big hills, and um, water looks nasty. I'm gonna be honest; it looks like it's still frozen. Looks like the water's still frozen. Got some nasty clouds above. Lost my little bit of sunshine. I don't think it's gonna rain on me, and if it does, it'll be quick. And I have a sit-in kayak, but really. I'm mostly exposed. I think I have, like, from my lower calf down, I have, I'm covered. But I, from my calf down, halfway down my calf into my foot, that's covered. But the rest of it's really not. And so, but I think this kayak was designed, it's, it's called a recreational kayak, I think. But... It's also, or it's also branded as a, not brand, categorized as a sit-in. And I can see why they say that. A little part of me is stuck up under here, of course, and I'm sitting in it. Um, and, of course, the way it's built is, you know, I mean, that looks like rain. The way it's built uh, is, is, is that of a sitting kayak. But most of me is exposed. So, like, I think a sitting kayak would probably mean like my knees down would be covered and you know because I've heard other kayakers talking about sitting kayaks would stay warm in there. Well I don't think this was gonna do that. So how good is it for winter? Ah, I think a person could do it. I think me, I personally I would wear rain pants, like some frog clogs for my legs. Get out of there. And uh I wear frog togs. In case it rains on you know my legs like Oh, God, it's cooler, too. It's cooler. It's going to drip, I think. This thing's going to drip on me. And it makes everything look so green. It makes me think I've made a wrong move. Oh, well. Let's not turn into that wall. I need to get friendly with the wall. We're going down, baby. We're going down and back again. Like Bilbo Baggins. There and back again. Of course, the wind's against me this way, but you know what that means? Even on the way back. It's gonna be nice. It'll be like going down river. So, anyways, I gained a lot of gear. I mean, I've got a lot of gear stored up. And the wife has even kind of mentioned <laughs> the amount of gear that I've picked up. And she's right, it's a lot of gear. And I think, I, you know, it's possible I've overdone it. But I don't, I think that it'll either thin out. I think I'll really know the things that I need as I kayak. As I kayak camp. I think I'll really understand what's important. What isn't needed. What I can do without. I'm not overly concerned with the weight. This kayak, this Ascend D10 has a weight limit, a total weight limit of 300 pounds. I'm right around two. And uh, so, I got 100 pounds worth of gear. Of course, I, would, I don't want to max it out. But I got 100 pounds worth of gear that I can put in here and, be, and still be okay. And that's usually what people want to know. It is a rec recreational kayak, like I said, but the cockpit itself, I was talking about the open cockpit, it says it's a sit-in. <sighs> the cockpit is wide open. I saw one of my 
other videos. Cockpit's wide open. And I mean wide open from the front to the back. It measures from the front to the back it measures 68 inches, I think they said. 68 inches. I have to measure that myself. That seems a bit long, but it's nine foot ten inches. And uh the width of it, the, the, the inner part width is about 29 inches. Golly gee. the other day in the hiking portion of this conservation and find some fat wood. And I wasn't successful. I wasn't successful. Look how flat it is out here. There's these little bitty pockets of ripples where the wind's making some contact. I have a whole hammock system, a whole sleep system, and I haven't had an opportunity to sleep overnight. I've hung it up out in my yard, of course, and I got in it, and I can't seem to get comfortable, and I've been trying to study up about how you hang your hammocks. I think mine's too tight. In fact, I'm almost certain it's too tight by watching other people's videos and such. I think mine's too tight. So I have some adjustments to make. And because I would really like, I hear people saying that they get good sleep. And they say they sleep good. I haven't made it past an hour or two. Let's find out what the temperature of the water is. Shadow. Almost at 40. So this one of these little cheap. It's got that little thermometer on the back. I don't know if I don't know whether the tilt is there. You can see that's almost down to 40. Uh it's that and it's a little whistle. Be a little hard, I'm sure. But and of course it's got the compass. Three bucks something. Better place, I don't know. I went to Ace Hardware to pick up some stuff for us. I got these this little it's like on it's like five dollars. And it's a urban gear. It's got like a a little uh, carabiner like thing on it and um, got a couple little tools in it. A little uh, can opener and flathead screwdriver. It's got uh, a little knife on it. I don't really know what the blade material is, and of course it feels sharp right now. But this is kind of this stays on me in case you know, maybe need it kind of quick, and I can just whatever. And then it's got uh, scissors in there. You know you need a good pair of scissors every once in a while. You always need to snip something. I always need to snip something and don't have anything. So, I thought this little guy was cool. It's just those three, but you know, it, like you, there's no play in the blade. Like up and down, side to side, there's no play. It kind of reminds me of my buck knives. There's no play in it. So, I thought that was. A, I mean, that's probably like what, maybe an inch and a quarter. Yeah, maybe an inch and a quarter blade. I don't plan on using it a lot, but. But it felt, I mean, it's kind, it's kind of a heavy little dude. But $4.99. So I got that. I got two of them. One for me and one for my wife. And I thought, too, man, you know, if you fell over and, you, like, maybe your shoestring got caught on something. Of course, I'm in nothing. Your shoestring got caught on something. You could easily, well, no, not easily. You could maybe get to this guy in time. Maybe get that. Because 
I was thinking, how's that for a picture across the water? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, I was thinking that it was just gonna, just, I thought it was gonna rain on me. like this because I read my buddy's perception and it's just a and it was just a perception uh, you know like I said a base model stuff and so the it's gonna end this way and so the seat was molded in you know and so a lot are And, uh, so, you know, I'll tell you something. It hurt my back right off the bat. Uh, I think I was only out, like, 10 or 15 minutes stuff, and I, you know, I just kind of noticed the old, the back was torqued a little bit, and I just, you know, you kind of twist in to kind of get it worked out and everything. And so, you know, but I thought that was just me. And so we got these kayaks, and I noticed they had these nice seats which are also removable and uh, removable and then you can kind of take them up on land like if there's no camp and stuff and you can just take them up to camp of course if you sit on the ground ish I don't think they'll sit off the ground about yay big but you can take them up to camp and have a nice comfortable seat I thought that was pretty cool see 
something up on the water. Sitting on the water. We're gonna go find out what it is. Seeing some little caves or whatever on the side here for like some rodents. branch. The Loch Ness. It's the Loch Ness. I'm novice. I can't help it. It'll get better. It'll get better. As time goes on, it'll get Changed out the battery. It's really overcast now. I'm starting to get the suspicion. I might get ready now. So let's put this. because I got my backpack in the back right now. I should probably keep my batteries up front for me. And, you know, I got a little five lever. I'm going to carry between my legs. She's really flat out and still. She's really still right here because we got those big old hills. Really block that wind. So I'm looking to camp. I'm looking, well, not now, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm looking to do some kayak camping for down rivers and stuff. So, I've seen some movement. Anyways, so what I've been doing is I've been checking out like uh, maps, Google Maps. There's another app that I got where you can measure the width of the rivers, you can measure the length of the rivers, because I can't get Google Earth Pro to work on my laptop. It won't. It, I don't know, it crashes all the time, so whatever. I mean, there's workarounds. So anyways, I got a workaround. I forgot what it's called. But you can measure the width of these areas and kind of know, like... What, what would be wide enough? What would be too, uh, too skinny? You know, the width part, well, yeah, sure it's intimidating, 
you know, maybe at first, but I think you get used to it. I think really what it comes down to is gaining confidence in your kayak, getting out on the water, of course, getting out on the water. But competence, of course, in your yak, competence, get your, you know, you want to practice your strokes. Mine certainly leaves lots of room for improvement. So you practice your strokes, you know, gain some competence, competence in your abilities, and I think that'll help. Competence will, will, will usually give birth to confidence in the kayak. And we're fixing to turn into this wind park. And uh, I think that'll really help. She was getting all red. I think that'll really help to be able to use, do some of those wider rivers and stuff. And, and, and ultimately, I'd like to, I wouldn't mind taking some classes, like some kayaking classes. I got some in the city close to us. We're more of a small town, suburban type of area. But the thing I like about it is you have places like this where you can come out. It's like just a couple miles from your house and I can come out anytime I want and be able to you know, hunt, fish, and um, camp. We got a primitive camping area not too far from here and do all that. In the city I lived in before, you, you'd have to drive a ways to get to anything like that. So this This is definitely one of the pluses of living in a small town. I downsized to high half the population. The city's much like 20,000 at the time, down to 10,000. But I gained some stuff too. It's quite smarter to come out here with somebody. Obviously. But sometimes. out on your own. Take some personal time. Here we are. The last leg of the trip. And you know what? It's been it's been a good one. It's been a good first uh, it's been a good first outing, I think. Solo uh, outing where I've been able to get off the paddle and uh, enjoy the water. It's 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 um, perfect day for it. It's a really good day for it. The water was very smooth. Like It feels like there's no wind at all right now. Uh, about halfway down this little channel part that I went, which was awesome. But um, couldn't be more thankful for the type of day that it is in mid-January. But, you know, all good things must come to an end as far as it goes for this. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little uh, paddle around. And, um, on a nice winter day. But I uh, look forward to some more coming up in the future. I look forward to some uh, kayak camping ones coming up. Myself and my wife, uh, you know, may be joining me. Uh, hopefully on the first one I think would be great. And uh, you'll get to kind of see the things that I learned and see what kind of things I think, what gear I believe I took that I didn't need to take. Yeah, things of that nature. So see how I 
set my system up, get some tips from you guys, or maybe I can share some tips. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Whoa.